I'm gonna start pulling the head off the fucking old E49 here. Put a CNC head on it. Got a couple here, but um, that's the one that goes on. I'm gonna run the fucking normal gasket. Got a few washes and shit I might need. So I'm gonna kick it off like this. Fucking bingo. Here we go. All right, boys. Another dart, another coffee. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Just been doing some comp test on it. You know what I mean? To see what the comp is. Uh, I'm fucking disgusted. This has actually been recode before. That's cool. That's fine. The fuck part is it had 8.4 to 1 comp. And that's just with a standard fucking 265 head. Seventh out down in the balls, you know what I mean? And that's her with a fucking standard gasket on it. 8.4 to 1 comp, get fucked, not here. 10 to 1, exactly on the fucking head. 10 to 1 comp, bingo, is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put it all back together in a sec and fucking hammer on this bitch, let's fucking do it. Oh boys, here we go, that's all cleaned down now. You can go a lot further than that and clean it more, but um, for what I'm doing, this is fine. So what happens is more just discoloration. Anyway, I fucking stanley it all down, blew it all off, then I scotch it all, you know what I mean? And then you go with your finger around where the firing ring will sit like that and just feel. If it feels fucking weird, attend to the cunt. If not, like that there is just smooth and fucking ready to go. So um, that's it. Got the gasket out now, I'm just gonna use one of these ones. Like I said in other videos too, if you have a bit of a look, I like to look over them all, do you know what I mean? I'll flip this fucking bitch over. See, there's a couple dents here. I don't know if you catch it on camera. See there? It's little things like that that fucking do me head in, you know what I mean? That fucking pisses me off because it could egg it on to want to fucking um, blow the gas. Anyway, just showing you that one. Let's roll. You know what time it is. Ooh, gasket's on, boy. Boys, boys, listen. Ready? When I push her across and she drops on the dowels. Ready, ready? Oh, get fucked. She's home. Let's go. Another tip, boys. I've mentioned it all before, but I'll fucking do it again. I'm putting these hardened washers right on the bolts because if you remember, we've shaved the head 80 thou. This one's been about 90. So whatever we've shaved it, I'm, I don't want the bolts to bottom out in there. Do you know what I mean? Because um, I've measured it all before, this and that, and the bolts will fucking bottom out. So the other way around this is you can knock so much off, you know, a couple of threads off the bottom of the bolt. I just can't be fucked at the minute. So I want this cunt going. Um, so we're putting the fucking, the washers are about three mil. You know what I mean? So, we're fucking laughing there. Quick tip, just keep fucking looking. All right, boys, so all of these are done up to 50 foot pounds. Then I went fucking 75, straight to 75. Now what I'm doing is with the breaker bar, this is just how I like to do it. You can stop at 75, do whatever you want to do. The book says 65, I don't go by that. So I get the breaker bar now. I've already done this half, and I just grab it like that. See, and I can feel it where it wants to, where you can sort of feel the bolt. Once you've done it fucking this many times, just there, and you can sort of feel what it's doing. And then I'll go, I'll go around like that. About there, there. And I'm not gonna retort this. Even though normally it's good practice to do it, that's them now. And they're probably around fucking 80 foot pounds or a bit more. But I'm not saying to go there, I'm just telling you and showing you what I'd do. All right, boys, I'll just show you this too, right? So while I'm putting the rockers back on, what I'm doing is because I've shaved the head down, you know what I mean? So everything will be pushing tighter. I'm just getting these washers here. I've showed you in other videos how to actually shim them and set all the fucking the preload because it's hydraulic. But uh, in this case, I'm just going fucking roundabout. So I'll run a mint before so they all come up an even height which will cancel out how far down we've took the, took the head, if you know what I mean. So that's just what I'm doing here. And then I'll just fucking uh, talk them all up and that'll be fucking her. All right, we're getting close, boys. No fucking around here. All right, boys, what I'm doing here, right, is I've just put them all in with the fucking shims, washers, whatever you want to call it. Rattled them up just, just fucking lightly. Now what's happening is I'm going over by hand again. I'm not doing the fucking tall wrench thing. So I'm feeling it, you know what I mean? All right, boys, that's her. One last look down the fucking ports there. Oh, she's seeing seed. You know it's gonna make more fucking power. Let's not fuck around. All right, let's do it. Where was it going now? All right, boys, here we go. She's all back together. Fucking just starting to put the heat shield on now. I did fire it up just a second ago to make sure all the pushes are turning. They're all fucking turning neatly. Yeah, you know I mean, there's red marks on there. You fucking can't see them at the minute, but yeah, they're all turning. And then I'll just start fucking piecing all this shit here back on. And um, full sand. Fuck it, let's go. Boys, here we are. Portland, look out. Just check if oil leaks this at the other before I trump it. Just went and put some um, juice in it, 50 litres. Ready to rock and roll. Everything seems all right. Nothing going on there. What I actually did was park next to my old Chrysler by Chrysler. I'll show you um, a couple pictures. Fuck it, here we go. Yeah, that's her, boys. Anyway, let's fucking rock and roll. Drop this bitch and see what she's doing. Oh, boys, here we are, right? Roots around. Like I said, I put some fuel in it, this and that. This is going to be the first tromp. This is the first tromp right now we've used. So I'll fucking throw back the first. So you can see head on it. Let's give her a little tickle. Definitely goes fucking better for sure. Fucking over. Who 
decent than this too because it fucking goes better for damn fucking sure. No ifs, no buts here, boys. And before, it wouldn't break traction in first. I got 50 fucking litres in it. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Fucking oath. Yeah, that's a fucking hit me. Fucking oath it is. Yeah, she fucking goes. It actually goes all right. All right, boys, as always, private roads. Um, I'll give her another little bit. Fucking definitely goes fucking better. Go second. Then I'll show you these fucking tires on the back. They're two 55, 60, 15s, the old galaxies, because they're a little bit softer for a bit more fucking grip. I might have to, I'll see how it go. Fuck it, I'll dyno it first, set it all up, get the timing where it wants to be, this, that, the other, and we'll try and G tech it like that. Otherwise, hopefully, I can put something in the back and it will fucking grip, or I just have to buy fucking Mickey Thompson's. But the bitch is going in the fours to 100, fuck it. I said it. All right, boys, here we go. That's the last run from last time. Let's see if the head makes any difference. Oh, fuck yeah, let's do it. Get the fuck here. Alright, so we're back to back the CNC head, right? If you can have a bit of a fucking look, fuck me dead. What? It's just fucking gold. Like, see what I'm saying? This is her with just a standard head in the red. Do you know what I mean? That's the torque curve there. That's that one there that I'm showing you. Now look at that. Bang. Jump the fucking... Look at the gap on that. That's some fat right there. And then have a look at this. This is her coming up before the horsepower. See that line there, the red one? Now she just fucking takes away from it. Look at look at the fucking jump. You know what I mean? Like that. It's fucking unreal. So this was a really good test and I really wanted to do this one. You know what I mean? Because what I'm trying to get at and show you is, is there'd be like 95% of Hemi's right would be E49. And I don't want me Hemi build. I E49 spec, E49 spec. Fucking, and I wanted to do this video. You know what I mean? E49 spec with the standard head fuck all comp lodges are probably all got, and then they go a little 10 to 1, so I actually put 10 to 1 in it on purpose as well, I put 10 to 1 comp in it because that's realistic for everyone, you know what I mean, it's realistic for you, it's not fucking booster territory, it's not fucking nothing, you know what I mean, it's just roll up the bowels, I fill the cunt up, it's completely changed the fucking ute, the way it drives, like you just, just bore, it's just a whole nother fucking thing, and I'm real fucking happy, look, I already fucking kind of knew it should do this, and this is like, I fucking already said it to me mates and that what it's going to do. But the thing is, to actually get up there and do it and fucking prove it once again was fucking gold to me. Because, um, you know what I mean? You always think, fuck, is it really what I've been seeing and doing over the years? Well, let's go. E49, as it fucking lies, drop the head on, the head on only. You know what I mean? You see me do it. Standard fucking head gasket, standard bolts, all that. Fucking bingo. Look at it. Look, I'm, I'm fucking excited. You know what I mean? Like, it, it fills me fucking heart with joy to see that. That picked up 55 rear wheel fucking horse. Do you know what I mean? That's a solid fucking 60 at the fly just by putting the head on. And check this out. Once again, I want to say it like this. It's not just fucking peak, like a little bit here or whatever. It's, look at it, from the start, boom, all the way across. This little bit's here, I've got two fucks not given for them because the dizzy was at zero at idle. I, I done that because I fucking didn't want to recurve it. I just want to leave it as it all lied, pull timing out of it. So I had to put it at zero at idle to match the, the, the timing I wanted up top. Do you know what I mean? 
So there it is. Like that, that's a fucking back to back if ever I've fucking seen it. You know what I mean? Now here's the fucking kicker boys. Here's the fucking, the final fucking nail in the coffin. Put that aside. Check the fuck this out. Boom. Now, what I want to explain here, these two lines and them two lines aren't even in the same fucking league. This, see that, 164.8 kilowatt. That's what the E49 made when I first put it on the dyno. With no airbox, as it lied, set of carbs, set of pipes, the way all of your fucking E49s are. Do you get what I'm saying? That's it there. Now, this is, this is what happens. We picked up 77 rear wheel fucking horsepower from this when I first put it on to a tune up an airbox in the head. You know what I mean? You go, all right, let's give her a little tune up, put an airbox on it and the CNC head. 70, that's fucking, you might as well call that 90 fucking horsepower of the fly. That's nearly a hundred. You get what I'm saying? So what you's are cruising around in now with the fucking E49s and go, oh, fuck, yeah, it's not too bad. It's a, from not too bad to like, holy fuck, this thing actually goes. It's a, whoa, 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 it's just trying to get away on you and all this sort of shit. Like if you could experience what I experienced and it wasn't going too bad at fucking 164, it was all right, you know what I mean? But from that to what it is now, a fucking whole nother ball game. I want to go over this again. The torque curve from where it was, that's just going down. It doesn't know what the fuck it wants to do from this once again, here, these little dips and shit, fuck all that because of the timing, like I was just trying to tell you. So let's just call it from there, you know what I mean? From 100k, boop, it just fucking, it's on and it's fucking, that, that fat there, between there, that means a fucking lot. Like if you know what I'm saying, on a dyno, you see the cunt break away like that, and you go, oh, oh, it just keeps fucking going like that, like that, that is fucking unbelievable fills my fucking heart with joy and I love it and as soon as I fucking hit it that first time before the dyno and you would have seen it in the video oh I knew straight away fuck yeah this is her she feels the way a fucking Hemi should all right we'll kick it to this fucking who uh, 222.6 I reckon because I'm a fucking sick cunt I, I, I could have got more power out of it I reckon that uh, what does it work out to be that works out to be 297 rear wheel horse so yeah in your mind you go fuck do I chase 300 I thought nah I'm not fucking I'm not going there because this was so fucking simple bang I'll show you boom boom that's what happened 77 rear wheel horse on that 55 fucking real wheel horse on that one. Straight up back to back from the fucking CNC head, unreal. So if you want a CNC head, fucking hit me up. That's one right fucking there. Look, here we are. I don't know, I just fucking love them. You know what I mean? You put them on and fucking boof, here it all comes. If you've got a fucking good poor job on your Hemi now, like a, like a good poor job, not fucking, yeah, she's right, she's just been bent dirt. I'll tell you this one more fucking time. I've had people drop heads off, right, when I've done a CNC for them and I do the changeover and I look in there and I go, oh, yeah, fucking cool, she's done. You know what I mean? The head's done. It, it, someone poured it, had a good go at it. Pop the valve out, and I'll fucking shit you not. But the head's been hit in all the places that no one gives a fuck about for horsepower, and every fucking spot in there that makes power well, wasn't fucking hit. But they spent all that fucking time and effort, and that's what I'm getting at. That's what shits me, because this poor cunt would have paid for a fucking ported head, do you know what I mean? But the dude, not knowing or what, fuck knows what's going through his head, the spots here in a Hemi that actually make the power weren't even fucking hit, so it wouldn't make any difference in a fucking stocky, you know what I'm saying? So when I say if you get your head ported and it's ported well from someone that knows what the fuck they're doing, mint. If you put a CNC on, it might make fucking a bit, a little bit more horsepower, you know what I mean? But if it's a stocky or you've got a feeling it's a fucking shitbox head or whatever, fucking they're the numbers, boys. It's not even fucking around here. It's fucking unreal and it's gold and I fucking love it. So. If it's a chasing one, hit me up. Proof's in the motherfucking pudding. Why is this sitting here? This fucking dizzy? And why is all that on the bench? Next fucking video, let's roll.